in the hell, excuse my language, does the child get out of that school without anyone paying attention? A nine-year-old girl walks away from school and went missing for hours before police are notified. It's a story we first brought you last night as breaking news. Now She was found safe, but tonight parents are worried about what could happen to their child. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed spoke with the girl's family. He is live in Waterbury tonight with what they had to say. Bryant, good evening. And good evening to you both, Mark and Aaron. Imagine just taking your child to school, thinking that they're going to be safe from the dangers of the world just to get a call one day that says that the school administrators don't know where they are. She just walked out the front door. That's, that's exactly what happened to the Castillos. And tonight they tell me that their relationship with the school is unrecoverable. It's been a, a, a nightmare. During school Tuesday around noon, nine year old Debbie Elise Castillo walks off school property at Bunker Hill Elementary. Her family says no administrators or teachers noticed she was missing. Lisa is Debbie Elise's aunt. She's translating for us. She's not okay. She's been crying and that you leave your kid at school thinking it's a safe uh, place for them to be. Waterbury PD says it took more than two hours before they were notified, and it took five hours until Debbie Elise was found. She walked all the way from the school to near downtown, which is about a mile away. Elisa Bell says her daughter is autistic, making the situation even more traumatizing. The school hasn't communicated anything back from them. They haven't expressed any type of corrective action. And Lisa, who lives in Puerto Rico, says she was afraid for the next phone call. I thought that the next call was going to be a, a scary call. We asked Waterbury Public Schools how this could have happened. We wanted to know why it took so long for police to be notified. How was Debbie Elise gone for so long without anybody noticing and whether they're beefing up security measures? The school system sent this statement saying they notified police and that Debbie Elise was found safe, but they didn't address our questions. Thankfully, she was found safe, but who knows next time it could be your kid, your niece, your neighbor, your daughter, your sister, and we don't have to wait until a tragic event to, to implement changes. And the Castillos tell me that they do plan on taking some type of legal action against the school for this situation. And they say that they want parents to know to always make sure that their kids know what to do and to stick by others, especially in the school setting, so that they can prevent this from happening. In Waterbury tonight, I'm Brian Treat, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.